Hi guys. Hi. Welcome back to the Virgo Nose. I'm Corey, and I love to sniff things and talk about them. Welcome back to the Virgo Nose. Mmm, <laughs> uh, even more. We just sniff, sniff. It's not working. Okay, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to come up with a thing. You know, I'm trying to have a presence here on YouTube. But I, that's it. That's the Virgo Nose. A very serious face as you sniff something. That's what that's gonna be my tagline. So take it or leave it, people. Do y'all like that or not? Cause if it's or not, there's an X right there. Or right there. I don't know what side it's gonna be on, but just X out. If you like it, then pick up your perfume and be like, right along with me. We could just start we can start a movement. A movement of sniffing. Aggressive, dramatic, double sniffing. I know it's too much it's over the top I've been watching all these videos and I'm not I don't post enough videos because I overthink every time it's time for me to post a video I usually try to wait till I have some kind of free time required in the house and it's like I, I just like oh no I'm not prepared and I don't have the notes and I gotta have this and my hair's not done and, and I'm like you know what for the most part when I listen to fragrance videos and you tell me in the comments when are you listening to fragrance videos and why when I listen to fragrance videos, a lot of time I'm in the car and I'm just listening to my favorite personalities and I'm just entertained listening to them like Sheree and she's like talking about fragrances and then she'll say, um, 2.5, 2.5 second story and then she tells us the story or is it a 2.5 minutes? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's 2.5. That means she getting ready to talk about something that don't have nothing to do with the, with the fragrance. I used to say that word all the time at work. Okay, can I have a 2.5 real quick? I know it's early in the video, but let me have a 2.5. <laughs> oh my God. Highly entertaining. Highly entertaining. I love it. I want to hear more. Tell me more. The uh, person I listened to when I was driving, I drive back to the house after dropping the kids off for school. Big beard business. And I literally started doing that. <laughs> Oh, hella beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. <laughs> I was drunk, and I'm like, it's it's about the fragrances, but it's more about the community, and like, I love these personalities, and you know, so I'm giving myself a little bit of a break, a little pressure, like, hoping that you like my personality. If you don't, <laughs> click the X on either side. But if you don't, um, subscribe, <laughs> like, and subscribe. I'm three minutes into this video and I haven't said anything. Let me get to the point. The point, I'm going to give you a 2.5. Let's tell a story. This is all about the importance of what you do to smell good before you get to the fragrance, okay? Quick story. I just ordered from Fashion Nova. Okay, had a credit on my account. They had a 50% off sale. Great, fall's coming, let me get some sweaters. I ordered some sweaters. The majority of them come, everything's fabulous, it's fine. There's one sweater I was really looking forward to. I'll put a little picture so you can see. Super cute, super cute black sweater. I see the black package. It's folded very nicely inside the plastic bag. I can't wait to rip it open. I rip open the clear plastic. I get to the sweater. I start to smell this weird smell. I lift up the sweater and the smell gets worse. And it's like immediately filling up my room. And I'm like, that doesn't smell like plastic. It doesn't smell like mold. It smells like a big strong man that has been working on the chain gang all day long, building railroads across America. When I tell you there was a funk from this sweater, a funk like I have never smelled funk before, like a funk that came from part human, part animal out in the safari in the African felt with the hot sun beating down on them and not a stitch of soap and water anywhere to be found. It was a funk. It was rank. It was disgusting and it was coming from the armpits of that sweater. I immediately took the sweater, balled it up and put it in this bag and put a knot in it. That is, it smelled so bad. My whole room was funky, okay, funky. I sent a letter 
to uh, email to Fashion Nova and say, you sent me the rankest. Somebody had tried the sweater on, obviously, uh, ran eight blocks and went back to their house and took off the sweater and put it in the box and sent it back. And then Fashion Nova, in turn, said, hmm, tag's still on it, and folded it up and put it back in a bag and sent it to me. And I was like, this is funky. So anyway, that's my little story. It was terrible. But it inspired me to do this video that I've been wanting to do anyway. Deodorant! Play Pits. Play Pits. So Play Pits is a natural deodorant. And you know what? And sometimes the, the person that wore this sweater, maybe they're just not a funky person. Maybe they were switching to natural deodorant from aluminum-based deodorant. Lots of people moving away from aluminum deodorants moving to natural deodorants and you know what it's a little transition period in there sometimes where it's like uh you know you gotta find the right natural deodorant or your body gotta adjust to the natural deodorant and you might get a little rank in the middle of the day just a little not as bad as that sweater but just a little bit there's a transition well i have found play pits which i feel like there is no transition this there is nothing that i know of that smells better and works better than this natural deodorant. And I cannot wait to talk to you about it. Play Pit. This is a natural deodorant and here are some of the base ingredients of it. Shea butter, coconut oil, kaolian clay, candelilla, candelilla wax, whatever. Cornstarch, baking soda, zinc oxide, vitamin E oil, apple cider vinegar, and then whatever fragrance. There's five different fragrances. It, it, let, before we talk about how it works, let's talk about the scent. Okay, sugar. This is the first one that I got. This was kind of the, the woman that, this is a black owned company. And the woman that started this company designed these with her son in mind. When she wanted him to have a safe deodorant that didn't have aluminum in it but it really smelled good and was like kid friendly so that's where give me some sugar give me some sugar sugar smells so ugh, it smells so good the scents the notes these deodorants have notes lemon grapefruit and lemongrass now i would have guessed the lemon but it, it almost smells like pound cake to me like lemon pound cake Oh, it smells so good. It smells like you can smell the lemon, you can smell the lemongrass, and you can smell the grapefruit. But you would think that it just creates this like citrusy, like it's just like a flat, simple citrus uh, scent. But it's not. It's cakey. Have you ever had a gourmand deodorant? Because that's what this is. This is a citrus cake confection scent it smells so good this one is sunshine so i went back recently and ordered some of the newer scents sunshine now i got this one for my son and this scent is orange and peppermint this one is very literal when you smell it you're going to smell uh essential oils of like orange peel and peppermint it smells good it's pleasant this one is happy this is another one of the newer ones that I didn't see there when I was uh, when I first ordered. Maybe it was, but I don't remember. It certainly wasn't available on Amazon at the time. But let's see. Happy is pure lavender. If you like the scent, the smell of lavender, you're gonna like Happy. It's relaxing, antibacterial, lavender. The coup de gras. My favorites. King and queen, honey. These deodorants smell like perfume they I mean they smell like if if they were liquefied y'all would be wearing them and be like mm, it smells so good so first I'm gonna talk about Queen the notes are lemon rich amber and jasmine oh I think this one I don't know if this one is my favorite and it smell when I tell you that amber and that jasmine it and you do get the lemon but that amber and that jasmine is strong and it is just pretty like i've never worn a deodorant that was just pretty before i just love the way that this smells it smells so good if you like amber it's sweet it has a sweet smell to it 
Amber, Jasmine, and Lemon. It smells like a sophisticated, beautiful perfume. Like, I can't imagine anybody not liking, not liking this. Now, this is the King one. I actually like this and do wear it. Oh, it's so pretty. It it it, sm it smells more masculine than Queen, but both to me, King and Queen are unisex. And I would even let my kids wear these. They're not like so fragrant that my kids have cologne and perfume now, so. It's just beautiful. Okay, this one has bourbon and sandalwood as the notes. And it is pretty. I would wear this. If they, if they made this a body oil or some kind of fragrance, I would buy both both of these. My favorites of the five are Sugar, Sugar, and then King and Queen. I just love them. They smell so good. So the deodorants are, I don't know, let me see if I can give you some, show you some the consistency of it. It, like I said, the base is, there's there's shea butter in here and there is coconut oil clay some wax cornstarch baking soda if you're sensitive to baking soap soda keep in mind this does have baking soda in it so when you put it on your hand well on your armpit but I'm gonna put it on my hand here it comes off like that so you know if you've ever put a little bit of um, shea butter on your skin you know you have your little that buttery oily consistency right so what they say that you should do is put the deodorant in and then rub it completely into your armpit and when you do that you'll feel like a little bit there's like little granules like I think you can feel a little bit of that baking soda and maybe a little the cornstarch you can feel that it's slight granules in there and you just rub it in until you can't rub it in anymore and that will protect you from funk all day long now I don't do the rub in I just put the deodorant on because I like I don't know I guess I feel like I if I don't rub it in I'll get more of the scent wafting off of my body but it works for me either way and I don't I don't rub it in now look it's like it feels so good and it's so like you could put that on as lotion like you got this deodorant in your bag, you're like, man, my knees is ashy. Like, give me some of that play piss deodorant. Put it on them ashy knees and rub it in, child. You be smelling good and glistening. Mmm, it's so good. It's so good. I'll put all of the information on how you can get this deodorant below. So to whoever, whatever wildebeest tried on this sweater, funky. Don't do that anymore. Get in the shower, okay? Wash up. And get you some play pits. It's amazing. I love it. It's my favorite deodorant. My kids use it. They're be, they be smelling good, smelling good. I use it. I smell good. It really, really works. And I tell everybody that I can about it. I, it's my favorite. It smells amazing. If you want to smell amazing and not be funky, get you some play pits. <laughs>